Alrighty, yeah, I got this new Beyblade. Uh huh, I got all, got my stuff. I got my ba my awesome Beyblade right here. And I'm about to play. Well, not play, I'm about to do it. Alright, let's see how it works. Let's try that one more time. Alrighty. Okay, here we go, and. That's just pathetic. What's wrong with this thing? You know what? This is what the video is about. I think I better get started. Alright, hey guys, welcome to Wonderful World of Nate and Nemo. So today we are learning on how to fix your Beyblade Ripper. I don't know if that's what it's called. I don't know. I don't really know what it's called, but I'm using the left, the left and right bay, the left and right one. It can do two things. It can do that. It can go left or it can go right. So this is for this type. There's so many types of whatever it's called, Beyblade Rippers or all right, whatever it's called. But all right, first of all, what you need is you need. Oh, wait a minute, sorry. Okay. You need a Beyblade, hot glue gun, or any type of glue, but I would just put it, or I'd use this. I'd definitely use this thing. Then you need a screwdriver. You need a little enough one that can fit in the holes. Alright, and then you need... Let's, sorry, there's a bug. Alright, then you need the ripper cord, paper towels, and especially the ripper itself, or whatever it's called, this thing. I don't know. It's about a video about fixing this. I don't even know the I don't even know the name for it. But all right, so let's get into this. Let's roll this to the side. First of all, roll out your paper paper towels because the glue might get a little messy. Cut it off. Put it there. There we go. Then what you want to do is plug in the hot glue gun. But if you are using glue in a bottle or something like that, then you don't have to plug it in. Alright, so for now, we are waiting for this to warm up. So I'm just going to put that to the side. Alright, now, second thing is this thing. Alrighty, so what we have to do is take it off of here. Alright, now we turn it on to the back, right? Turn it on to the back. Let me get the camera. Alrighty. Turn this thing on to, here we go, turn it on to the back and you'll see, wait a minute, oh, whoops, my bad, well you would see two screws right here, oops, right here, and right here on the opposite side, but I've already taken that apart, see? Here are the two screws, if you can see them. These two little thingies right here. Alright, so, now, all you have to do is take off this piece right here. Then, take off this piece. Be careful about it, you don't want to break anything. I have broken my brother's one, but not taking it off. I broke it by ripping it off, because... It happens sometimes. All right, come on. There we go. All right, now you should see this, but if you don't see this thing, then that means it got stuck up here. So you don't need to fret like, oh no, I'm not, mis I'm missing parts or anything. Don't worry, it'll just be in here. All right, so this will be the main thing that you need. But first, let's take this off. All right, come on. If I can even, if I can even take it off. Which is a low chance. Ah, there we go. Take that off. Then, if you grab right here, and grab right here on the other side, you should be able to just pop it off like that. Then if you open it, you'd have this part. This part, this giant thing right here, would go inside of there, inside the X like that. Alrighty, so... 
This, these are all of the gears, the parts, and pieces. But, there's one part that you will not see in mine. Because, what I have done is I have taken it out. You'd be, it would be these two, these, these three pieces right here. You can completely go without them. And, you can also go without, uh, where'd it go? Oh, well, wait a minute. Ah, uh, ah, this piece. You can go without this piece. You don't, you do not need these four pieces right here. You do not need these at all. You don't need this. Boop. Get out of here. I don't need you. You don't need this. Get out of here. You don't need this. And you don't need this. But, I'm still just going to use it. Alright, so, your, your thing should be looking like this. You should be able to take this out. You should be able to take this out too. And you should have this. Alright, so what you want to do is you want to put it inside of here. And you want this little bumpy piece right here. Even though you can't see it, there's a little bumpy piece right here. You want that to line up in there, like this so, but if you don't, it won't go in them. So what you want to do is line it up there, put it, put it on here. Next step, you would take this piece, put it on how it's supposed to go, if I can find it. Is this, is this the, no, wait, is this the way? Nope, I think I got it backwards. Ah, okay, there we go. Put, you put that on there, now it should be looking something like this. Alright, next up, you can put this piece on if you want to, you do not have to. Alright, so, put that on there. Boop, and it should be spinning freely. Alright, so here's the thing, people always think that it's something's wrong with the gears or anything, but no, it's not the gears at all. Not at all. I shall tell you what it is. If I can put this on here. Come on. Can you really go in for me? Do I have it backwards or something? Wait a minute. Ay, ay, ay. I might need to make a video about how to put it back together. Or wait, I better, better go look up the video on how to put it back together. Alright, there. Now you should put it on. You know, put it like a sandwich stuff in the middle. Alrighty, so, it is this piece. This thing right here, when you put this on here and spin it, these little bumps right here, let's see if you can see it, ah, yeah, these little bumps right, this little bump right here on each side, it start, it clicks into here. So there's little ridges in here. I know this is terrible, but... There are little ridges in here that go along like teeth on the sides. And so what that thing does, it clicks into here, like this, and then just goes around in a circle and clicks through that. But, it can't. And we call that free spinning. That's when it starts to just loosey-goosey spin and go haywire and crazy. It doesn't work. So what you are wanting to do is you want to put it on here make take your glue or hot glue gun okay mine's hot so this is the, the tricky not tricky part you're gonna have to put the glue ah, on the sides right here put it around the circle that's what you want to do all right, let me put it around all right you put it around the circle Come on. Is it even going to work? Alright, yeah. There we go. Who's working? Who's working? Alright. Oh, this is so messy. Alright, then what you want to do is you want to put this thing on here, align it with those little bumps that you have. Take your ripper, put it through. Alright. Uh, oops. I just put it through here. Put it through here, make sure it works, and so the glue doesn't, because you don't want the glue to drip in there, and then 
it stopped working. Alright, then you put this on here, like that. Make sure this is still working. I'd press it down to make sure the glue is in good. Alright, yeah, it's working fine. Yep, there we go. Alright, then you take the two screws, put them in where they're supposed to go. Alright, come on. Alright, come, come Just go in there. Now, let's say you didn't do it correctly. That would be a-okay. All you have to do is go in with the toothpick or something that is able to take the glue off. And you can just do that. You can just take it off by doing that. Pick the glue off or something and then redo it. It'll be easy. I Well, I haven't tried it yet, so... Uh, I, don't, I don't know if it's easy. But the glue gun, you can just... Once it dries, it's like... It's easy and not easy to get off. Alrighty. Let's see, make sure it's still in there good. Spin it around a bit. There we go. Okay, here we are. Now, the final test. Now I'm going to get my arena, or you can do this on your floor, or in some pan or box or whatever, but I have a Beyblade arena. Alright, let's go test this out. Alrighty guys, so I got my arena, I got it all set. Now, what? I, but also here's the tip. Make sure the glue dries. Make sure it dries. Always. Make sure it dries if you, especially if you have, um, what is it, um, um, ah, that glue in the bottle, the kid, kitty glue or whatever. If you have that, especially make sure that dries, because it's, it will just break if you do not, if you will not let it dry. Alrighty, now let's test this out. Now. If you did it correctly, you should be getting a click. Now, I'm getting a click. You might not hear it, but if you do hear it, then that's good. Alright? Yeah, but then, here's the thing. If you don't get a click on, let's say, um, the right one, but you do get a click on the left one, that is perfect. That's perfectly fine. It. I have no clue why it does that, but... It did that for me, but I it, it did that for me, and it worked c correctly and fine. But that means you did not do it correct, and it will break later. And that did happen to me. All right, so let's test this out. Here we go. Right, I'm gonna line this up. Now, if you don't get the click, you did it incorrectly. Now, oops. That's terrible now. Oh! Wait, sorry, let me put this in the... Right, there we go. Oh! Voila! You, it's, it's working! Now let's get some light to make this look better. There we go! Ta-da! Now, you have your problem fixed. You can do it multiple times, it's very fun. And you can buy your, oh, if you don't have a baby, then you can buy them at Walmart, Target, you can get them anywhere, Amazon, probably even, uh, uh, just anywhere probably that has toys. And there you go, your Beyblade's fixed. Ta-da! I'm just going to do this one more time. I gotta do this one part of it. Oh. Now, if it keeps sticking onto your thing, it keeps, every time I spin it, it just sticks on there. Then I'd go look up another video on how to make sure your Beyblade does not stick onto this stuff. But, if it doesn't, then you're good. Alrighty, last test. Let's test this out. Oh, sweet bliss, sweet joy. Alright, until next time on the Wonderful World, Nate Nemo, make sure to subscribe, leave a like. We're trying to make our channel grow every time. We're at 24 or 25 subscribers. I have not looked, but make sure to 
leave a like, hit that notification bell, subscribe, and I want to try to get to 30 subscribers. Who've, who's ever watching this, hit the subscribe button and hit the like. And make sure you do that. Then you can comment down below on what other video you want me to do, like on Minecraft or on something else or something another Roblox video. I can, if it's a video that I can do, and I'll try to do it. Alright, make sure to subscribe and leave a like. Until next time, in the wonderful world of Nate and Nemo. Oh, that's just so much fun to watch. Uh, just watch it go round and round and round and round and round. Yeah, I'm bored now. Yeah, I'm I'm gonna go play. I'm just, I'm gonna go play Minecraft. See you later, people. Make sure to subscribe.